Neighbouring Burma has told UN independent investigators into human rights in the country that they won't be cooperating with her or granting her access to the country for the rest of her tenure. According to the investigators, she'd been due to visit again in January. That's now been put on hold, and in previous visits, she was denied access to so-called touchy areas. Burmese leader Su Chi has denied claims that nearly 7,000 people have been killed in the forced exit of a minority group there. Thailand's central bank has reiterated its position of non-recognition of the digital currency Bitcoin, reporting too that it will cooperate with anti-money laundering. The high-risk virtual currency has seen some borrow in the hope of a quick get-rich scheme. Despite high waves and storms around the Gulf, an Irishman took to the waves yesterday in Hua Hin on a kite board. He drowned after becoming entangled with a boy, despite attempts to rescue him. The 40-year-old had rented the board to go solo in the rough seas. Shotgun weddings took a new meaning this week as a groom-to-be killed his future bride after a row that, according to her family, saw her visit his home only to find him with another woman. With the wedding due at the weekend, the groom is now in police custody and the lady's body was discovered by co-workers after she failed to turn up for a shift. When a 44-year-old fishery worker in Bangkok went home to his village after a few years away, family were in shock as they'd held a funeral for him. It seems that police had identified a body as his seven months ago and the family had mourned his passing. Who the dead body was will remain a mystery forever, as he was cremated. Just what we need, a Western young couple traipsing through the capital painting graffiti as they go. Caught on camera, they'll no doubt end up being arrested, apologising and saying they didn't know it was wrong. But Thai social media is awash with video clips of the dumb duo, showing the male of the two blowing a kiss to a camera. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, a Norwegian man was beaten badly this week after complaining to a local bar that they were noisy. Police were called and it's hoped they'll also check the licences for the bar where the attack occurred way after midnight. If the bar had a licence, it will restrict opening to midnight at the very least, and others locally have also claimed that they stay open with full-on noise until sometimes 3am. That's something that residential zoning is supposed to prohibit. Immigration in Pattaya are looking closely at restaurant and bar owners who work without proper visas and permits. It's not just serving drinks that's a problem, but even working social media to promote a business is, of course, work. And those who choose to make themselves high profile are recommended to cough up for the proper paperwork. Your Christmas can be a special one for sure, as we've launched video reports on both dark side and city side locations promising great Christmas lunch deals. For families, couples or singles, visit our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash fabulous 103 FM. According to the Met Office, temperatures are set to rise slightly for Christmas. We'll be back over the 30 degrees barrier, but night times will still see the city chilly. And today we're promised highs of 28 dropping down to 20 at night. And that is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Pattaya, the city of fun.